So, in the previous episode, we beat up Santa Claus, which was a lot of fun. Anyway, there is a piece of heart immediately on the Pyramid of Power to your right. But in fact, if you're playing the GBA version, there would be a dungeon here. Mm -hmm. The Palace of the Four Swords. Then we get a piece of heart for that. Then we get full heart again. No, 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 piece of heart. By the way, I love the statues of Aghanim here. They really don't make any sense. Are they statues of Aghanim? You think they'd be statues of Ganon? Thanks, Ganon, for setting up signs telling me where to go when uh, you're Oh, that might actually be the demons roaming around who did that, so they don't get lost. And we got these weirdos with spears. Even though I used to think they were sticks. Technically, they are You may sticks. think that there's something here, but there's not. Yeah, um, that's, how, that's technically how you're supposed to find the third box. You warp at that spot, and then you go into the bridge to the right. Yeah. However, there is something that we are going to get right now. Adra observing the most annoying dungeon in the game. Yeah, this would be the Ice Palace. There's no freaking way to get in here, but... Note this very large circle of stones. I have no idea what the hell those things are supposed to be. Anyway, this spot is kind of annoying to get on, because you can't appear on top of the bush. But anyway, you got your piece of heart. Now we gotta swim all the way back. So, speed up. I don't get those purple ones, they don't attack. Most of the dark world is locked off until you get the magic hammer. Yeah, the magic I mean, hammer being in the Palace of Darkness. Yeah, which is why he tells you it should be your first goal. Yeah, because it's the only place you can get to. And I believe there's still a great fairy here. Somehow they haven't been transformed. Yeah. Apparently Ganon decided not to do anything to the fairies that are trying to help you. Except for the great great fairy. Well, yeah, the great 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 fairy is sealed up. I just seal up. Okay, imprisoned. Oh, much worse than that. You... Yeah, I'll show you when we get there. But you, you can't open that uh, until you get a super bomb. And they don't sell super bombs until... Oh, I remember what you're referring to. No. Oh, yeah, I can go here and talk to this guy. Oh, oh yeah, didn't he just tell you the story about the Dark World? Yeah. But it's still, in, it's still interesting stuff. Yeah, it's an interesting little tip. But there's a bunch of people that tell you this story, though. I don't understand why they did that. I don't know what he is. He's I a think mushroom. A, or a bush or something. He who touches it will have, will have whatever they want granted. Is that not what you said, Ganon? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Unfortunately, there's not much in this house for Just the tail of the Triforce. Anyway, now we can proceed to the Palace of Darkness, but getting into the Palace of Darkness is somewhat of a bitch. Literally, because we have to get a little companion to join us. And we don't exactly approve of this companion because he's kind of a cheapskate. As you'll see in a few minutes. More like a jerk. Pretty much. I don't think you can make through that one. It's like a dead one. Anyway, we haven't mentioned yet, but I suppose we should, that the Dark Hole theme is without a doubt the most awesome song ever produced for this game. Anyway, we slip through here and there's monkey followers. Who well, apparently is, likes money! This is Kiki. He's a cheap ass little bitch. Can you spare me ten bucks? Yeah, he asked you for ten bucks to follow him. Anyway, you actually have to do this, as you'll see in a minute. What the? Did I just foul up? Uh. Why did you hit the A button? I mean to hit the Y button, but okay. I guess we're going to have to get more money. Damn. Uh, luckily, there are guys in the general vicinity. Then I bet you none of them will grow. Oh, there we go. We're good. So, yeah, after that bit of foul up. 
Anyway, you had to pay Kiki 10 rupees to get him to follow you. Anyway, after paying him, don't warp to the light world. I didn't even know he had special dialogue if you warp to the light world. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. But anyway, when you get to the palace, the door is locked. And, and if you he... give him 100 rupees, he'll open the door for you. Anyway, contrary to what he says, it is impossible to open the door without paying him. So this isn't 100 rupees that is required. So, sorry about that again. But we're back, and you may recognize this entrance. But, don't be fooled by it, the Dark Palace is nothing like the Eastern Palace. No, the Eastern Palace was pretty short and pretty easy. This is neither. For the first dungeon in the Dark World, I compare this to the Forest Temple, in that they're both ridiculously hard to figure out the first time through. Well, this just gives you a clue on uh, how much the Dark World dungeons up the ante. Yep. Anyway... You may notice a bomb a wall down at the bottom there. And Zelda tells you that she's locked inside Turtle Rock. That is the last Dark World dungeon that you will do. And it's probably the hardest dungeon in the whole game. Even harder than Ganon's castle, actually. In my opinion. Anyway, the anti-fairies can still be affected by the magic powder. And we get introduced to these lovely enemies, which I believe are Jalai, which I believe are, uh... I forget exactly what they're called. Let's just call them Jalai Trogues. They do that. Yeah. I just call them Gelectrodes. Now there's a bunch of bomble things here. Only bomb the large crack. The hole is a pit that will hurt you. And we get these weirdos. These guys are definitely one of the stranger enemies in the game. They mimic Link's movements. The best way to deal with them is to shoot and then steer them into uh, your arrows. The red ones shoot fireballs, the green ones just do nothing. And you're also going to start seeing a lot more conveyor belts in the Dark World, and spike traps from the original Legend of Zelda. And those red ones are definitely the more annoying of the two, because they split into two small enemies when you kill them. Anyway, Bumble Wall on the right leads to a fairy fountain, Bumble Wall on the left leads to, I believe, a key. And those weird mole head things, which, by the way, are apparently in uh, A Link to the Past 2, judging by the screenshots shown. Uh, they can only be hit with the magic hammer. Actually, I'm assuming based on the trailer that the magic hammer is going to be very important in the second game. I think mean, the, the small ones can chalk you just as badly as the big ones. Like that. They're pretty damn annoying. Well, actually, I'd say the small ones are worse. They're much harder to hit. Yeah, but to be fair, they don't do uh, physical damage to you when you walk into them. Don't grab them then, don't touch them at all. Mm -hmm. Save them for later. And I believe over here there's a key. Now what we're supposed to do is get onto that pathway right next to us with the blue blocks active. But getting over there isn't as easy as you'd think. In fact, this dungeon is really actually pretty tricky. Since I am walking all the way back. Yeah. This first dungeon is actually really sneaky for the first dungeon. I actually am rather surprised. Anyway. Heading through here, we're going to have our first encounter with Helmasar. Helmasar is invincible. Uh, Helmasar was the guy back there. And oh, he was? Just jumped off uh, what are those things? Then? The turtles? They're just turtles. Oh. Well, they gotta have a name or something. Either way, those things are annoying because you literally can't hurt them until you get the magic hand. Yep. They are invincible. Oh yeah, those guys are almost sorry. Yeah, those are helms. It's just weird because they're like not even a threat. I believe we gotta go through the left door now. Well, I didn't mean to jump off, but since I did, I got the key down there, which is just required. No, but we gotta go through that. But not right away. Not right away? Alright. Oh yeah, I got the key. I can go through that right away. Yeah. That's what okay. I thought. You're not supposed to go in that room at all. That just confuses you even further. Well, you go in there later. But yeah, right you're supposed now. to go in there after once you've gotten the big key. Because that's the place that you're supposed to go, at least to the chest. With the hammer of many names. 
Since in this game it's called the Magic Hammer, in the next game it's called the Megaton Hammer, and then in Wind Waker it's called the Bone Hammer. Anyway, there's the big heat. Yeah. And then in uh, Twilight Princess they changed it entirely. It became the ball and chain. <laughs> okay. By the way, but yeah, the hammer's gone through the most changes out of any item in the series, I think. I mean, the hook shots had a lot of changes too, but even it's pretty much remains the oh, same. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't have the hammer. Yeah, I have the hero. Yeah, we can get the hammer. And luckily, the hammer's not actually that hard to get. It's only tricky if you don't know how to get the big key. You're just supposed to go across the right path. And by the way, remember that you can push bricks down, because that becomes a board later. Alright. And this is why you needed the blue blocks activated, currently. This path would be blocked otherwise, and it would be annoying to get back. And here's the first example of floors that destruct. You will see those repeating throughout the game. They're kind of annoying, but not a giant threat. Uh, we need another key. Which is probably in here. Oh, no, that's the compass. Well, that's probably in the bottom floor. Yeah, I remember now it is. Lots of money, too. Which kind of refunds you for having to pay Kiki when you first entered this place. Actually, yeah, it refunds you and gives you more. And there's an arrow, and on the other side, I believe there's a key. Along with more rupees. Also, I will say this now, whatever you do, do not use that key on that door that was in the Helmasaur. Otherwise, you have to find another key, and I don't remember where that other key is. Besides, it just leads you back anyway. There's no real reason to open that door at all. Now, getting to the big chest, if you notice down the side, there's a bomb of a wall somewhere in this room that you have to find. And it's full of these weirdos who spit fire. And you think that would light the room up, but it doesn't. There's the bomb wall right there. So we'll just make our way through here. Gee, I wonder why they give you those. Oh, is that it? I wonder if that's a key. I guess that answers that question. Alright then, so... Well, we can bomb this. And probably get away from it. <laughs> okay. And chest containing the magic hammer. Now, if you wanted to attempt a uh, reverse run, you'd have to exit the dungeon now and use the magic hammer to open up the other dungeons. And sort of do it that way, but since we're not doing that, you don't need to worry about it. I may do a uh, reverse run later, because it's pretty freaking hard. It's really, really annoying. I like how you're playing the game with one hand. There's no enemies, you don't need to worry about it. Anyway, now that we have the magic hammer, we can finally get rid of these guys. Who so will flip onto their uh, will flip onto their backs, so and then you can strike them. They're not very annoying. They do get super fast when they get back up, though. Aside from that, though, not much of a threat, and no oh boy. Now, in case you want an easier time to get through this place, you can push the left statue. And you can actually make those spike traps glitch with these, if you push it far enough. Gotta love that. Haha! 
How is that even stuck anymore? Alright, now that we have the magic hammer, we have to go all the way back around the way we came. You remember that we were in that side passageway on the right. We gotta get back there. Do you even have to go to the left? I don't even remember. I don't think there's anything on the left. I don't even remember. I think that yeah, it like contains like a couple of enemies that might give you some, but I don't even remember if it's needed. Uh, if I remember correctly, the magical boomer can get rid of the boomer versions of these. No, I'm thinking of the hook shot. The hook shot is actually the most reliable way to get rid of those guys. Because it, uh, you don't take damage if they're shocking when you have the hook shot. Oh shit, we're over time. Yes, we are. Uh, we're gonna call it for this episode, so we'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we will hopefully finish the Dark Palace. So, bagel.